The city that never sleeps is completely shut down and a field hospital is now up and running in picturesque Central Park. Any pain anywhere? No. no. They're preparing for the pandemic to peak here in the coming days. 594 people died in this state in the past 24 hours, down from 630 yesterday, though most fear the worst is still to come. The next week is going to be our Pearl Harbor moment. It's going to be our 9-11 moment. Uh, it's going to be the hardest moment for many Americans in their entire lives. In Brooklyn, there are so many bodies, they're being stacked in makeshift morgues. We all know that we have to reach a certain point, and that point is going to be a horrific point in terms of death, but it's also a point at which things are going to start changing. For Australians, Christopher Hugh and his partner Amelia Banks, it's a scary experience. This is a view from our balcony, and this is one of the main streets that runs through Williamsburg in Brooklyn. They arrived six weeks ago, but their life is not quite what they thought it would be. At night, there's a constant stream of sirens which pierce the air. I think the last few nights, um, it's working on south. Um, so, you know, that's become the new normal, but the new normal isn't normal at all. In the Bronx, even a tiger at a zoo has been diagnosed with COVID-19. Next door in New Jersey, the death toll is rising rapidly and New Orleans is becoming a hotspot too, while locals in Florida continue to be concerned about the arrival of infected cruise ships. There are also worries here about the growing number of cases in and around Washington DC. Today, the White House confirmed it's already beginning to dispatch thousands of military medics to parts of the country that need help most. James Glenday, ABC News, Washington.